Cheers. You see your mommy? Welcome, baby girl. How'd we do? She's looking good. So let me tell you a little bit about this baby that was just born. Um, she, I did a box opening, okay, and I probably will post it. I know y'all like to see my box openings, but um, I had fun setting this up all night um, and really just wanted to share with you all. So, I'm just debating on whether to just leave that part up or uh, what we'll say, but I'm gonna keep talking for now. I might clip this video and just go to the next. But I'm gonna set her up and this is not meant in any way to, uh, you know, I mean, she is what she is. She sculpted as, um, the proportions of a 28 week old gestation baby, um, some uh, silicone babies, micro preemie babies are more of like newborn proportions that are just shrunk down. So she's really tiny and thin, um, which is kind of why I put the warning and plus all the, uh, you know, medical stuff and hearing the sounds and stuff could be a, you know, a trigger to some people. Um, and it by no means like she, you know, she's going to do perfectly fine. Um, just, you know, a little bit of support. I have some props for some photos and some videos. And, um, but as you all can see, she was crying and doing very well. So I'm going to let y'all get a look at her. Um, she is the prototype Serena Sculpt by uh, Whiting Dolls, uh, by Christina Whiting at Whiting Dolls. Um, I s spoke a bit in my box opening, which will get posted about <laughs> how in love I am with this baby and how happy I am. Uh, she's absolutely amazing. She's a one-piece pour. She is Christina's blend of silicone. She, oopsies, she wrinkles. She's super, super flexible. I'm going to show you all that in, you know, a details video. I'm going to do lots with her. I knew I would um, because this is just the little micro preemie I've been dreaming about. She's a bald baby. Um, I'm very happy to have a baldy in my collection. I think she's the perfect baby to be a baldy in my collection. Um, if at some point I feel like I want her to have some hair, I will send her back to the artist to be rooted but I didn't, I, I felt especially that um, there's 
there's some nice shading of painting on her head, which kind of gives the illusion of maybe like hair follicles that she's about to have some, you know, light brown hair grow in. Um, so you can see that. And I think that it's just very, very realistic. Her mouth, oh, it's painted amazing in here. She can take a preemie passy um, bottle. So that's super cool that, you know, she's got a nice size mouth and look at the detail. I don't know if you all can see the detail in there. She's got gums, tongue, really detailed mouth. Everything on this baby is detailed. Look at that belly button. <laughs> so I hope you all loved the grand entrance of my baby girl. I have not named her yet. I'm, I want to spend some time with her today and think about some of the names that I have on my list. And uh, we'll go from there. So to those of you that tuned in because of the title, and if you're not doll collectors, um, this is just part of the some, some of the fun imagination role play um, that adult doll collectors have. It's like getting to relive your, sec your childhood over again. Uh, kind of like, you know, guys playing with cars and trains and stuff like that. It's, you know, um, lots and lots and lots of women played with dolls as kids and it's kind of you know uh you know something fun for us us adults right right little wee one she's so sweet so yep i'm gonna set up some some of her props and and all that but i wanted you all to get a, a look at her and you know see it and hear it in a hopefully what will look like a realistic um setting and later on, I'll show you all around my little NICU, and uh, you can see her set up, take a look at some of her details, and I really hope that you'll enjoy seeing this baby. Um, I am looking at names. If anybody cares to leave a name suggestion, that's fine. Um, not saying that I'm going to just pick out of uh, viewers' names, but certainly if something strikes me that I want to add to my list, that's great, and sometimes that's the way to come up with unique names, which I really, you know, enjoy unique names for my babies. So welcome baby girl today. We couldn't hold off labor any longer, but she is a precious sweetheart and everything that I could have dreamed of for a micro preemie baby. <laughs> so